Oh, and we're life. back, man. Ball. We fucking ball. Ah, this is what I remember. Nearly. Hello. What were we doing? It's so late. What I don't happened? know, but I need the stream up. Oh, oh yeah, I closed the game because fuck. Yeah, I, 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 I need the stream back. My fault. Yeah, there we go. I have a favor to ask you. I forgot. There we go. That. What's your favor? So. Remember when Sakura said at the end of the, her note, I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight for you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and fucking licked it. It was disgusting. And she whispered. Your ear tastes good. <laughs> the data center on the fourth floor. Hey, little huh? mama, little I'll here. meet you there. I'm Thumbnail. Tell you something you might like to hear. Well, in other words, she was gone. What? Makoto's always so confused. Yeah. Her words reverberated through my half dazed head. More like half baked. The data center? But I thought it was locked. Okay, how do control? How how do we control? Oh, I made my way to the after hour school and headed for the. Okay, good. I don't have to navigate yet. Thank goodness. Eventually, I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She she said she'd meant meet me. Is she maybe inside already? Put my hand to the door, and with a certain amount of force, a certain amount, it's locked. Rattle, didn't open. Rattle. I tried again, but wow, it must be locked. No shit. What was it? Kyoku said. What? Whoa, the data center on the fourth floor. What's this? There's a bear on my screen. Oh ho! Mm. What are you doing up, Mister? <laughs> Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibit prohibited. Don't you know? Oh yeah. well, I just you know. <laughs> I was looking for a good place to masturbate, and I thought this was a good spot. <laughs> and the data center seems like the most, like, secluded area. Maybe I just wanted to, uh, you know, understand my own data coming out of me. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> the weirdest phrasing of that. We're gonna tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But I could see that. You don't. Don't waste my time telling me crap I can't see for myself. It looks like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you gonna try and tell you? Are you gonna try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, no, nothing like that. It was three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird to go back to bed. Why don't you go back to hibernating? Stupid bear. Sup, Louise. And yes, it's this in case we need to finish the game. <laughs> <laughs> After a long hiatus. What's wrong now? Just a second. Oh, hello. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko? <laughs> you too? Okay. You guys? Whatever. The two of you, just get back to bed. I'm positively, positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto. Let's head back. <laughs> yeah, this is still the same night Sakura died. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> hey. What? Did you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Now you say that? Shall we go? Makoto is a chump. Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. Also, one thing I will add, uh, including this, if we, if we keep doing the sessions like we normally do, we have three sessions left, including this one. Hmm. Chapter 6 is no daily life. It is straight investigation trial. I see. Yeah. Yeah! Go on. Get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Shoo! Get! Go! Get! Yeah! Scat! Yeah! It's like a cat. Get out of your cats. Get so the fuck down from there! <laughs> what? <laughs> the fucking dude yelling at the cats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we left and went back to our rooms. And then... Goodbye. So goodbye. HOLD ON! <gasps> HOLD ON! Listen, no! what was all that about? She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which just so happened to be locked. I thought I could masturbate in there, but it was locked, so what the hell? I got caught by the principal bear. It's all going downhill. Yeah, that's what I just said. What was the point of all that? 
Don't worry about it. Cool. Yeah. Goodbye. Good night. Sure. And then that was over. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Whole lot of nothing happened. There's, there's a reason all that happened, but we're not gonna learn it for a little bit. Oh, good. It just makes me upset. Stop showing this. Mikuro this is sex. Ikusaba. What? Oh, this is new. <gasps> The 16th student. Yep, the 16th student. Mm. Yeah, there wasn't 15 of you this whole time. There were 16. The one they call the ultimate despair. Yep, there's a 16th student you haven't met yet. Watch out for her. Oh my god, is or she cute? You met them? Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> All star apologies. There's come on the screen. Oh, it ended. Okay. Yep. There's now, uh, yeah. So there's a seventh person somewhere hidden in the pool. Interesting. Oh, it's the ball that fucking we got a ball. Uh, alter ego got turned into. Oh. When he smashed the laptop. Chaff. Oh, achievement. Yeah, we never fully actually finished chapter four. I didn't know we were that close to the end of it. God damn it. Oh well. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. What if I don't? Told me to watch out for her. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we can be faced with another murder. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. I forgot they show that then. 100 mile dash, pain of junk, food junkie. Pain of junk, food junkie. Mm. In the meantime, the I hate this chapter. Okay. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's trial, that morning in the dining hall. Well, we now know how many huh. fucking free days it is till the investigation. Three. Yeah. So let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Also, this is Bayakia. We expected small talk from this smug son of a bitch? Like yeah. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well, fucking real high. Apparently, he just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I th like to think, anyway. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is bloated as a cow's udder. Also, real quick, should we really be following this man who's that confident when he started getting flustered in the last trial because he was proven he didn't know everything? Yeah, be fine. No matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Okay, that's kind of... Huh? That's a little much. Hey, Toko, you've been qu pretty quiet. No! Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. Damn, get bullied. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. Hmm. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Oh. Huh? But what? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. I don't care. Oh my god. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? <sighs> Jeez. How low is that rock you're hiding under? What the fuck? <sighs> I believe this is the small talk we all he had warned us against. Come on. And yet I let myself get involved. But it is, it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. But I'm hungry. Pressure by an obvious rated Miyakia. We all started our exploration. Yippee. I'm back to first person. What am I looking for? I'm back with food. I didn't know you left. Oh god, what is the pause button? I yelled that I left, like, when I 
do that probably didn't get picked up. Nope. Oh, it's X. Okay. Uh... Wait, fifth floor? Fourth floor. You need to go up. Oh, yeah, because the new fucking floor was unlocked. Yep. The fifth floor! This way. Pretty good strawberry lemonade. Hell yeah. Luis did disappear. I haven't seen him chat yeah. in a while. He hasn't said anything, though. So. Alright. So here I, am, here I am on the fifth floor of the Hope Peak Academy. The fifth floor has begun opened up, has been opened up for us, and it's totally different from all the floors oh, we have seen up until now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Unpleasant. We got a couple classrooms, a couple uh, bamboo. Oh no, you're still here. Just making sure you're still here, homie. Just making sure you're here. How's your day going? I can't read what that says. We're going in. Can't read it? It's like the fucking like Arthur meme. It's like, that can't stop me. I can't read it. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck is this room? Archery class? Target seems yeah, pretty like, well, far away. An archery club training area. Mm. I have 114 coins. Holy shit. Yeah, well, we're in free time and you start getting some rich. More coin. Uh, sword practice. Very Japanese. And get picked up while I'm eating. What the heck did it mean? Don't get hurting somebody. Yukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden some of the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, excuse me. Um, Kyoko, I'm not gonna say anything. I can't say anything. Ah, camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on on information that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like that, I, and just like usual, I didn't understand anything and better than before. Okay, that's enough of this room. I don't know how to leave. I don't know how to leave. Uh. Where's the door? How do I get out of here? Okay, I'm gonna wait. Can I not teleport to that? What the hell? Son of a bitch. How the fuck do I get out of this room? It's not... Yeah, I don't care about the wooden lockers. Wait, I forgot... What was the... I forgot all the buttons in this game. God... There we go. I already clicked on that. I guess we're just gonna explore every inch of this room. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. Considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? Logan, how did I leave? R. How the final? It said it right on the screen, I just didn't see it. <laughs> okay, Japanese room. How about open god door light? Open god door light? Yeah. What the fuck? Some sort of greenhouse, I guess. Oh, just you wait till he fucking says something. At first, I thought I saw blue skies, but it turns out they just painted the walls and the ceiling. You know? Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I smell vegetation. It helps me relax. What the heck? That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why? Is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? Is there just it's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, the they'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Oh, boy. Well, I'm serious. Okay. Only the big 
Look at that fucker. What, what is this? Super creepy flowers aren't supposed to get that big. Is this thing real? Oh fuck, the bear. What? That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you'll... And you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plants like, snap, and your flesh is like, bleh, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist? Although they don't... Botan botanist? They don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Actually, By the way, despite how it looks, the, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, and even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Well Apparently, such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of healthy society. <laughs> Not that I'd know anything about that myself. Laugh. Spouting more and more nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep my distance. There's a coin in it. I snagged a coin from it, apparently. Just to be sure, I should take a look at that. The toolish tool shed. Oh, it's a room. Hmm. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. I learned it gets. And leaning against the back wall is that a pickaxe? Why did he call that out specifically? Oh. There's a something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. Isn't that a the gang? No. That's my gang. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. I don't know how I remember that. I feel like I remember seeing. Yeah. Lawnmower. There's a lawnmower here. There's a coin inside the lawnmower blade. I cut my hand off trying to get it. Uh. So many flower pots, big ones, little ones, and any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. Wow. Damn, there's a couple of hoes lined up. God damn it. There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Oh yes, now we only six people left start gardening. Isn't there like unlimited amounts of food here? Yeah. So what the fuck's doesn't really matter. Yeah, they state the food gets replenished every day. Yeah, so... Wow. Look at all this stuff. Chicken coop! Chick. What's chicken coop doing here? Whoa! This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, no. they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that? That'd be funny. It seems safe. Wow. Oh, you can click on each hand. Head. It's chicken. I'm clicking on every single one. Fed like humans, is it? Does he have a different comment for every chicken? He does. That was incredible commentary from Makoto there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like chicken soup, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them. Oh, five is lit up. Exactly. Mm. Five, you know, the number that comes after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least Right. It's a number of power. A refreshing number of par. With hand squeeze yeah. all natural lemonade. Okay. It's better than four in Japanese culture. You don't want four. What does four mean? Four is it, four uses the same kanji as like death. Ah. So four is like their unlucky number. I see. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? Yeah, control the sprinklers in the garden. Every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. The 
of course, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So the means the speaker go off. <coughs> oh god, cough out of nowhere. Sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning. Uh, I know. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. But you're not a killer kid, right? You're too old to be going running around. Running through sprinklers anyway. Yes. You're never too old. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? What the fuck does that mean? I'm gonna get oh, yeah. turned on by water. Jesus. I think that's everything. Wait. Did you not say a fucking comment? Those nozzles poking out. Are those the sprinklers? There's a coin up there. I don't know how I got it. I'm I'm mad. Man didn't say a fucking reference. What? And talk, talk to fucking clairvoyant dude one more time just in case. Hey. Don't you believe me? That there's just. A it's just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide to... Uh, 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 oh, no. I thought it was now. It might be later, but there's a Mario reference involving that plant. Oh. All right. What else we got? Got those two rooms. Thanks for driving my real flat fucking car. You're cool. What do you have to say? This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. I hope there's a fucking morgue here. Is it this? Is this what makes it creepy? This is a long ass hallway. Long ass hallway. Dude, Monday Night Raw's here? Oh, fuck yeah. Raw. It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here. That's WWE for you. The sign in the hall says Biolab. A bio lab that we're f forbidden from seeing into. Yep. It kind of sounds like there's something out of an old cheesy horror movie. So, so. Okay. That's one of the rooms that's. Uh, I'm just gonna. You do not ever actually go into that room until the last chapter. Oh, okay. Well, there's no more stairs, right? Hold on. Yes, the, the, the top floor of the school. I'm surprised the principal office isn't up here instead of, you know, on the fourth floor. There is a classroom you have to check on this floor, I believe. I, I assume it's this one. Oh my god, what the fuck happened here? The hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room st struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's... It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying... It's the smell of death. They're flesh and fat and blood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I had experienced this smell more than once before. It was a smell of death and despair. Yeah. This, this room got it. It took me back. I was like, whoa. Yeah, uh, in the anime, you get to see what happened in this room. Oh, fucking god. Is it bad? And, uh, the main villain forces all the students in this classroom to kill each other until one's left alive. Oh. What the fuck? This is, I believe this room is the scene of what gets referenced throughout this game, which is the, the moment of, like, the like the, the worst moment in, like, history or whatever. Oh. Inter interesting. Fortnite be like. In one room. If we're doing Fortnite one room, that's when we're playing music until we get fucked over. Yeah, until we make one mistake and then get and shot with cup balls. <laughs> I'm ball and then we just lose. Yeah. It was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. The smell here is strong. Condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Munakuma yeah. must have. What? My fault now. again. Stop trying to blame everything funny. on me. <laughs> the one funny thing is it isn't Monokuma's fault. Oh my god. If you hadn't done what you did, this would never have happened. No, 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 no. It's quite the opposite. The opposite. Now, 
all day. Yep, let me give you a itty bitty, eeggy squeegy little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I yep. just left it exactly how I found it. Yep. Didn't even want to clean it up. Damn. Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and the mate, those mean old RPGs. Uh, oh. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood, oh, blood over the no. walls and junk. What? That reminds me, there's a, in the last Yakuza game, Infinite Wealth, there's this guy that runs up and talks to you, and he like, tells you all about the optional dungeon or whatever, and he just sits there, he's like, can you give me some money? And your character's like, wait, what the fuck? And it's like, <laughs> not just some random NPC that runs up to you and tells you shit for free. Yeah. That's funny. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. That's wait, true. So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? He just left in the way he found it. Just left it the way he found it. What's yep. the meaning of all this? 42. Eye for an eye. Yeah. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears all the blood stains are dry, and their colors has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. This yep. is all really blood. Hmm. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting. I assume you. I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? Uh, yep. There wow, is someone some, died there. here, there, out. over there. Ooh, someone died over there. Uh, a couple There's over a there. Out with this room, but that would be... The, any more information I could give about this room would be spoilers for this game and the second game. Mm. Actually, no, it's solely useless no matter what. Okay. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always seen it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. Yeah, the only things I can 100% say now that aren't real spoilers, you see this event in the anime, and since it's the anime, that's one of the arcs in the anime takes place before the games. That is, is true. Monokuma had nothing to do with this because he did not physically exist yet. Mm. But the person controlling Monokuma did exist. Uh, felt like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Are you really thinking that hard, or are you just flat out ignoring me? Did I look at everything in this room? I believe so. Let's this get room, <laughs> it's also funny, like, because I was like, oh yeah, the bio lab, you don't actually have to go in there till chapter six, because the only, the, that place only holds clues for the next chapter. Mm. That room also, like, you could go in now, it adds fucking nothing in any of the trials until the last one. Ha. Huh. So they just want to be like, yeah, boom, here, fastball, and then nothing. Nothing happens. Yeah, you don't get any more information on that room until the next chapter. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, yeah, nothing I've found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall. There is another floor you do unlock in Chapter 6. Because there is locked stairs you have seen before. Mm -hmm. They're um they're in the uh, dorm. It's Form. Right. It would appear everyone has returned. Uh, oh, I'm very gassy today. Excuse me. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't go. Don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Positive. <laughs> Besides, even if yeah, one fucking stab the person. No. <laughs> Besides, even if one more person dies, we could still field a basketball team. That's crazy. Hey. True. That's like reverse po positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have have to do our best. Hm. Yippee! Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Well, what did you discover? Yeah. 
I checked all the windows on the fifth floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No dice. Yeah, sure. That's, that's obvious. Job. Yeah. Which means no chance to escape on the fifth floor either. But when I really... Also, I fucking would we want to escape out a window on the fifth floor. Yeah, I just want to fall to my death. Mm -hmm. But when I was looking around, I realized there's something about the layout of the school. What's that? What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Why do you ask? So then. Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. I wasn't paying attention to that. You 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 did mention what was missing. I already forgot. <laughs> something with all the floor. Yeah. floor uh... Oh, stairs, right. There are any stairs yeah. leading up from the fifth floor. That's what they're talking about, right? Does that be the fifth floor? <laughs> Fuck. The end? I'm still Come six, on. surprisingly. Just have to get and that out there. <laughs> hit with allergies. Huh? And, and now I'm getting hit with allergies. My eyes have been fucking watering. Shit, we're all struggling. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But, but that's the hardest part. No shit. Even if it's hard, it we still gotta do it. Yeah, he knows right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. Yeah, it's like the main villain is gonna be like, "Hey, it's me, guys. What up?" Hell, what up? Peace sign. Pulls out Glock. Bop, 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 bop. He, just <laughs> he just gets bored of these kids and. Yeah. Just ends it. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I no, not I'm sure. Yeah, whatever. Makoto being Makoto. Uh, you speak. Hmm. Did you find any of it? Find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. Dude, this room's badass. Murder. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've ever encountered here so far. I wonder who came out, out of there alive. That's my question. What the hell are you talking about? Hmm. The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body smell concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But, but I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other I can only words, think of one thing. A large group of people died right in that room. Oh man, what's, what makes you say that? Oh man. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, oh, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Per perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh. What? Earlier I was trying to remember what the fuck it was called. That's what it's called. Oh. Huh. <laughs> You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is, the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. Yep. The awful scene in that room? That was a tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another <laughs> name for the genocide of the student body of Hope Peace Academy. Oh, man. That all... Now just even more imagine. That blood and all that shit's been there for a year. Now imagine how fucking awful that's the smell. If, like, the body parts were still there, yes, Dude, but... blood gets fucking rancid. Does it? I don't, I don't, I wouldn't know anything about that, so... If that's true, it's all clear now. that would explain why Hope Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess that's all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. I agree. It's terrible tr yeah, yeah, but still... How is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Ooh, mystery. Mystery afoot. We're talking about a lot of shit that's not gonna get solved until next chapter. What a, what a ball busting right now. Mm -hmm. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Mm. Bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. God. <laughs> Lab. Uh, probably. Yeah, that's probably true. No, it, it said raw on the door, so it, Monday Night Raw is behind that door. I'm certain of it. If there was like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, a final boss, or tyrant, or god. I forgot about the Resident Evil joke. 
We're not in a horror game, though. Hmm. Either way, we don't need to worry about Are it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them for efficiently. Well... It's just the six of you left. What's the point in insulting the last we have to spend time with? Yeah. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? Also true. No, how I said it is right, too. Okay. <laughs> to you, maybe. Toko? Hey, Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So why are you telling me? Because hey. you told her to zip it or whatever? <laughs> ah, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> Jesus, man, I know you like torture her, but come on. <laughs> well, Toko... Yeah, no one... If no one reminded him, he would have ne she would have never spoken again. Fuck. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. You honor me. <laughs> and don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. Oh, she smells good now. Ha, <laughs> uh, seriously? You're gonna take it? Shut up and don't interrupt when Master and me are talking. Um... Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor. Oh, yeah, I didn't check the other two classrooms. And yeah, something... those are just right so. And something caught my attention. A knife! A, no! A combat knife. Oh, it was this. A knife! That's a knife! Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. What? It's a survival knife or something. Or some it's type. Like this one scene. But what was it doing in a classroom? How would I know? Very suspicious. What are you gonna use that knife for? What are you gonna plan? What are you planning to do with us? Do to us? Ugh. I'm not go gonna do anything. I just, just picked it up. I didn't want to leave it a knife laying just laying on the ground. How about that? I'd rather have it laying on the ground than the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more important. Her. Huh? I was just like, ah, oh, man, it's kind of like you're the same person. Yeah. Different personality. Now that we have the knife, what are we going to do with it? You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. So what do you want to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Mikoto? Ah, yes. Let's trust, like, the like one of the more incompetent people with the knife. Dude, he'd probably just kill himself by on accident. Probably. He'd slip on a banana peel in the hallway and just <laughs> right in the throat. Huh, me? <laughs> oh yeah, I trusted Makoto. I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. And that's that. Hold on, don't I get to say? It's all clear. Just how much you, they trust you. You should just do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> well, you're just a bitch. Here you go. Fine. I guess there's nothing I could do. I'll just keep it in my dress drawer for now. Bro, just throw it like super high at in the wall. Make it stick there. That's what I would do. <coughs> do what <laughs> fucking people do with pencils back in high school. Exactly. Just throw it up in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> now no one will touch it. And then it inevitably will fall and just fucking murk somebody. And then it can't be anyone's fault. It's no one's fault. Nope, nope, nope. Wasn't my murder. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Hey, Toko. Uh, do I still have to? Do I still have bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. It stinks. I'm sorry. It stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? And then she came. No, not yet. Did Master just praise me? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> now she came. Yep. I'm dreaming. It must be dreaming. Okay, now she came. <laughs> and that nah, I would experience such a dream. Okay, now she came. <laughs> okay. Stop. I feel strange. So afraid. Oh my god. When, whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Who's left? Oh yeah. Uh, Porky Pan. Porky Pan. You know. That's a hero. Porky Pan. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and... Oh my god, this is so much information I have to click on. 
Well, Kuma said that that was a cold Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, oh. so we have to be careful. We're serious. It's only a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from one that lives in the pipe. The, oh, there's the Mario reference. There is. Anyway, that must that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything in there. Oh yeah. We've had three references in this one scene. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They, s they say idiots never catch cold, you know. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. What? <laughs> um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Yo, ducks never get wet. Their feathers say no. I'm not- I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dub. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. That definitely makes you stupid. But if it will make you happy, I'll answer your dub question. So, um, what was the question again? Uh, Don't worry, you just answered it. Um, he's he doesn't talk to him again. Oh yeah, right. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Ah, uh, stop. In other words, stop talking. <laughs> like go. They put him such in a bad no. spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, chicken coop. There was a bunch Chick of chickens in the chicken coop. I love chicken, Zaddy. Look at all these chickens. That's right. Five, five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Chickens are cool. Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make deep fry. Okay, well. She just wants to eat the chicken. Chickens are cool as pets, and they make eggs. Oh, oh, or how about raw, because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? What? You want to die? That's how you die. That's how you get poisoned. I'm pretty sure that'll kill you. Okay. You know? Uh, tool shield. You knows it too, huh? That pickaxe? What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the words Crazy Diamond has carved into the handle. Have we seen that phrase somewhere before? Mm. Crazy Diamond? Mm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I just don't think I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? huh? Where? Oh, that's it. I remember. It's his jacket! Tom Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. But why would be? Why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Mondo must have snuck it, it in there and done it, right? Uh, that's the mystery. Yeah, he snuck up to the fifth floor. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Not possible. That means he would have to go through like the fourth floor to get to the fifth floor. He died when we only had access to floor two. Oh, he had to go through the third floor too. Oh, he just he went straight up there. Three. Four, and then get to five. Shit, man. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. Right. Then maybe Mono brought it with him when he first came and Monokuma, Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. There's so many mysteries in the school, it makes my head spin. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Then what did? Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we could use it to call for help. How are you gonna call? How are you gonna call for help from a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe I could use it to make crop circles or something. Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make a crop circle. Well. And we can use those to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? We weren't like this in the beginning, you know. You know. Well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. What? I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So now what do we do? Hmm. Well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure out figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um. 
So what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well... Kyoko's identity, but Kyoko's Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, uh, deniable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro. H Hero's the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto's the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but hmm. shut the fuck up. No one's talking to you in your brain. <laughs> mm. So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um, now that you mention it, she's never told us. Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really have... Like, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> we need to avoid raising suspicion any more unnecessary... Wait. We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time for you to... to it's time you told us. I can't. Oh, lovely. We'll never find out. Huh? What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? What do you mean? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory, you mean... Amnesia. What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking, but this is a joke. If this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is very it's a little funny. Suspicious. I was like, who the F is Kyoko, lol, but it is... Yeah. You can't be serious right now, C can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However, but it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intent on telling us. Of telling us, huh? Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you gonna do? Torture me? Hmm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear. Now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Give me the key to your room. That's... What? <laughs> But if she gives you the key to her room, room key, I didn't read that at all. <laughs> she can't go to sleep in a room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. Hmm. If she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on, a threat like that. That's fine. Fine, I understand. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and held out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Because whether I want to or not, I can't. All I could do was keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she's really maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever. Where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. However, the worst school, where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Huh? Oh. Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What are you yapping about? Perhaps I've said too much. Kia will then turn her back on us, and without a word, began to walk away. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words that she left. The, hiding ho the dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? What's her deal? What? I think you went too far t taking her room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off on uh, the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. Stop Jesus talking. Christ. You're getting noisy again. <laughs> yeah, get p Come piped on. down over there. Sorry, I can't still hear you. The sound of you breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how much you feel, but... But what's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus this situation, it's just like before. It's still different from whatever, when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I, I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. Why are we yelling? What the hell? Why are you? Why? Why? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Because I mean. Look. Uh huh. It's just a bear. Why are we yelling at him? 
I it's you. How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very no, angry. Really angry. Oh my god, the bear's angry, guys. What do we do? Angry at what? At the thief. Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have t to tell you there's a thief in your midst. Who's taking things now? What is what is happening? Huh? What? Hey. My precious. Is that a Lord of the Rings reference? Probably. God damn it. They stole it. You're precious. Your teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um... But what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. What? <laughs> There physically cannot be a FNAF reference when this came out years before FNAF ever existed. Well, there you have it. And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? So, he said something um... about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. Oh, you know, it's the bite of 87. Oh, there you go. God fucking damn it. I did it for him. It's likely <laughs> It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko, did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Bing bong. Haven't done that in a while. Bing bong! <laughs> it's bedtime! Good night. Um, uh oh, we need to get out of here. We could talk about this more tomorrow, and about Kyoko. Hm. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precau precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms, don't go wandering around, keep the- It uh, sounds familiar, because that's a stock sound. Not like we need to tell you- uh, tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. At least he's trying to be more... I don't know part of the group trying to lead it I guess following his lead each of us went back to our rooms he's more involved yeah ah that's right I have a knife I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko I think the safest place for it would be in my desk drawer that's not true that's the easiest place to look for it I would put it underneath the toilet In the back bowl of the toilet. Yeah. Now now you're thinking. I don't know about the... Uh, what? I don't know. But anyway, is about... Ky Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something Shit. I can do? Something I can. And he passes out and dies. Oh, fuck. I have to get my voice back. What the fuck? Um, what? Oh, oh, you're fucking. Oh yeah. How fucking PlayStation just turn itself off? Who fucking say you do that? What the fuck? Bing bong or ding dong? It's actually a doorbell this time. Huh? As I opened my eyes, I realized I'm falling asleep without realizing. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? Ding dong. I take a guess. It's Kyoko. I was right. Who the? F you need a place to sleep, girl? I got a whole ass bed. Got Kyoko. Bed. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Damn, girl, fuck. Hey, damn, you don't want to fuck. Okay, fine. She wants to get freaky like and go to the dressing room. Where is that? That's at the, the fucking. Where the laptop was. Oh. In the, the, yeah, the okay. Was, I can't not just not go. Well, I'm going. We're here, that apparently. Was, Hello. That was the one didn't have a camera. There's no camera in here. Are we trying to get our freak on in here? What's going on? Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay. I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then. Well, then, let me get straight to the point. Uh-huh. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does that mean you have something to do? <coughs> Fucking throat. 
So from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from them. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. Mm -hmm. But what did you steal? So... What did you do? I stole this. The Monokuma key. I presume that's what it's going to be called. A key. But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key that of its kind on Earth. Is it the key to the principal's office, maybe? I'm going to guess. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. How did you get inside there? What? You stuck into the headmaster's room. But wasn't it locked? However, the lock was broken. Huh? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. Yeah, she remember oh. that Sakura said she would fight him? Yeah. That was her way of doing it to help everyone else. Before she fully, like, died, she broke the headmaster's door. Oh. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her nose? Going out of the so Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets might lay hidden within. She did that for us? Oh. Yep. She violated school regulations to help us. She was going to die anyway, Makoto. Come on. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I had just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. Yeah, that whole bit of you getting sent to the room with the locked door. Oh. So he asked me to meet you at the data center in order. Ah. Oh. So, oh, uh, she's so smart. Yeah, so while Monokuma was talking to you, she snuck in and stole the key. Mm, correct. I wanted, to, I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention, took this other day, snuck into the headmaster room, found the key. Wow. Then what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. There you have it. Did you find out about this person while you were in there? Indeed. I did file in... I did find a file in the headmaster room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but... One thing I do know is that Makuro is dangerous. Dangerous. In other words, she may be the very well be the mastermind. Whoa, -ho, that's saying something. Mastermind, but didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. Huh. huh. I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Makuro really could be the mastermind? Anyway. Anyway, the key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Oh. Now that we've grasped it, grasped it, grasped, but there's a P in there. Formal grasp it! We can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again. Or I go find out. Listen, grab that knife, run around the halls, and be like, Ooh. Wait, so you're oh, planning on sneaking oh, back in again? Walls. You can't. That's way too dangerous. You want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us. Is that right? But they didn't catch on. Didn't catch on the last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us, monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Hmm. Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have been just been a lucky guess will be proven truth. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected, as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there will have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. Quit being a pussy, Makoto, and just be the distraction! Why is that? I don't think you need to worry about all that, after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Okay. 
No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules, as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a, a second thought. That's true. Hold on, I'm gonna drink. Oh, I haven't read this much in a long time. I see, in that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove the hypothesis. Hypothesis. What? Correct. At a moment of crisis, the mastermind break their own rules or adhere that to them no matter what. In other, words, in other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason for not to do it, right? But If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Yeah, Makoto. We know the danger, but if the risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. I like how it goes dead silent. From fucking yep. amped up music. Crazy music. Silence. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I've been such a bitch this whole time. But her eyes gazing into me. Fixed on the mystery head. The enemy standing before us. And with that, vi that in view. She just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and I wonder if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. If something happens. However. I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it. Just because you asked me to. That's... Okay. Well, I'm going to give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. She's like, yeah, sure. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure. Because that then there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, that's, there's that too. Uh, you mean there's something else? Well... There's nothing. For guys I said anything. I, I can't just forget that easily. So then... Okay then. Shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Mikoto. She doesn't trust one of the others. I just have to get Monokuma's attention right. Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace and she left. What wasn't like every other time? What are you yapping about? Everything's gonna be fine. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. Then I got to work.